Today's theme is cats. It's puppy time. What kind of animal do I have here? A cat. A cat. But what color is this cat? Purple. Purple, that's right. Have you ever seen a purple cat before? You have? Where? Where did you see a purple cat before? Maybe in a book? Yeah. Mm, me too. Yes, this purple cat is from a book. What is this purple cat doing right now? Licking its paw. Mm, yeah, she is licking her paw. Do you want to try licking your paw right now? Let's pretend to be cats for a second. Very good. Now, what else have you seen cats do? Play with yarn. Oh yes, they totally love to play with yarn. What kind of sound does a cat make? Meow. They do meow, that's right. Do they make any other sounds? Purr. Oh, they do, they purr when they're feeling good. Oh, do you want to try petting this cat? Good, if it was a real cat, do you think she would purr? Yes. I think so too, yeah. Hi, Hudson. Hi. What kind of animal is this? A cat. It is a cat. It's a barnyard cat, which means it lives in a barn. Yeah, exactly. Now, can you show me how a cat walks with your body? Oh, on all fours, very graceful, sure. Excellent, nice. Hey Hudson, can you point out some colors on this cat? What colors do you see? Blue, Blue. white, Good. green, pink, and black. Oh, that's a lot of colors all on one cat. What else do you see on this cat? What are these called? Whiskers. Whiskers, excellent. Can you show me whiskers on your face? <laughs> Good job. What else do cats like to do? Chase mice. They chase mice. Good. Shall we pretend to chase a mouse, a pretend mouse? Ready, set, go. Good. <laughs> excellent. everybody and welcome to the world of Eric Carle. I'm Natalie. And I'm Dante. And we are inspired today by the book Have You Seen My Cat by Eric Carle. So today's craft we're going to be making cats out of clay. All you're going to need for this project is clay. You can use all different colors, red, green, yellow. And you will also need a wooden dowel or you can use a toothpick or a pencil. So now we're going to start off taking a nice little chunk of the clay. I'm going to take a little of red and a little bit of the orange. So I'm going to rip off a little piece. I'm going to press it into the red. And what you can do is kind of roll it around in your hand and you can kind of flatten it out as well. And then this is a moment where you can feel like a little baker and flatten it and kind of fold it into the red. Oh, so it creates a mixture. Yeah, yes. All right, once you have your clay all picked out and mixed, you're going to make the cat's body. What I've done is I've kind of rolled it into a little ball. Oh, nice. Just for the cat's body, but you can also roll it into a cone. And I will go with the cone shape, and it might be a little easier if you have a bigger piece. So what you're gonna do is kind of compress it together in your hands put it on the table and kind of roll it at an angle. You can also pick it up and pinch at the top and make it a little skinnier at the top as well. Wonderful. 
Next, what you're going to do is take a smaller piece of clay and make the cat's head. So you're gonna roll it up into another little ball. You can use your hands for this. You can also use the table and put it right on top of the cat's body. Yes. Mine's a little bit of a smaller cat, a little <laughs> kitten. Wonderful. We have more of an adult cat on this side of the table. Yes. <laughs> and don't be afraid to push down on the head a little bit so that it does not fall off. Kind of smooth at the bottom so it attaches to the body as well. And it'll start to look like a little snowman, even though we're making a cat. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next we're going to make the ears. So I'm gonna take this black clay now and just pinch off a little bit and I'm gonna make two ears. So split it into one piece and two pieces and make a triangle shape using a pinching motion, kind of like this. And once you're finished making it into a little triangle, you can stick it right to the top of the head. We've got one ear. And we've got two ears. Perfect. Next, I think our cats will need legs. All right. <laughs> so now you'll take another piece of clay and roll it out as long as you can, sort of like a snake. And you'll want to take a good amount so it can be a nice long piece. So you have enough for four legs. I'm gonna add a little more to mine. Good idea. both hands on the table too if it's helpful. Rolling and you can also pull apart a little bit so as you're rolling you can pull a nice roll and pull. Wonderful. All right. Great. I'm gonna first. put my first leg here, rip off a little piece of the roll and put it at the front for the front leg. We've got one leg Press it into the body, nice and tight, so it stays on. You can now take your second piece and do the next leg. So now we have two nice front legs, and now we need our third and fourth leg. Back legs. I'm gonna have my cat sitting, I think. I'm going to do the same thing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my third leg here and place it at the bottom of the cat's body to make it look like he's sitting down. So that's my third leg right here. I'm gonna take my last little piece and make my fourth leg. Place it right at the bottom. Now the next step is adding a tail. You will roll it as well. You'll take a smaller piece this time and roll it in your hand. And also use the table. You can have a straight tail or a curly tail, whatever you like. Mine's a little bit of a curl at the back. I've placed it at the bottom and again a little bit higher so it sticks on better. And I have a curly tail as well and I kind of shaped it as an S right on the back of the cat. Oh, wonderful. All right, so now we have our cat's body. I think the cat needs a face next. I agree. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to take our little wooden dowel or toothpick or pencil, whatever you have at home, and we're gonna draw on a face. So we're gonna draw on two eyes. We've got one eye right there. One. And you're gonna do the second eye right next to it. Just like that. And then we'll need a nose in the middle and maybe some whiskers on the sides. Good idea. So I'm gonna do my whiskers. I'm gonna take my little dowel and I'm gonna tilt it sideways to make two whiskers. We've got one, two on this side. And I'm going to do four whiskers as well. I'm gonna do two on each side. 
two on the other side, just like that. And now last but not least, we will add the mouth. You'll go right towards the bottom of the head, right below the nose. You can either press in with dots or try to draw it on. We're gonna give our cat a big smile. Yes. I used dots and kind of curved it like a C right at the bottom to make a little smile. Oh, wonderful. And there we have our clay cats. Now I hope you try this at home with whatever bright colors you have, and I hope you had fun with us today. See you soon. Bye. Thanks for playing with us today. I hope you had as much fun as we did. See you soon. Thank you.